Hello, it's me Vanessa. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Fun Learning Math with me. So in today's episode of learning, we will talk about these two well, about the two scenarios having excesses. Let's take a look. Mr. Wong has some chocolate bars to give to his students. If he gives four chocolate bars to each student, he will have 38 chocolate bars left. If he gives seven chocolate bars to each student, he will have two chocolate bars left. How many students are there in Mr. Wong's class? And how many chocolate bars did Mr. Wong have? So as what I always said with regards to this kind of question, the original actual number of chocolates is always the same. And for that, this is your reference point. So you have to draw this actual number of chocolate bars. It doesn't matter how long you want it to be, but probably long enough for you to uh, input whatever, whatever information you need to. Okay, draw it, uh, draw it reasonably decent size. All right. So in scenario one, if he gives four chocolate bars to each student, he will have 38 chocolate bars left. So he did not use up all the chocolate bars. There is an extra 38 chocolate bars. So this is what we mean, the excess. So this is the amount or the number of chocolate bars that he used to give each student four chocolate bars. And then in scenario two, if he gives seven chocolate bars to each student, he will have two chocolate bars left. So again, another excess because he did not use up all the, um, the actual number of chocolate bars. So he would have two left. So meaning to say that this is the portion, the pink portion is the number of chocolate bars that he used for scenario two. Now, as what I've explained in the earlier video, we have to treat these two scenarios as interrelated, as a continuation of each other. So in scenario two, it's a continuation of scenario one. So in scenario one, each student already has four chocolate bars. So now, they, in, a, in, a, in so to speak, they are given three more, right? Chocolate bars to, um, for each student. So how many more chocolate bars does Mr. Wong need? So it's obvious because how many more chocolate bars is actually integrated by this portion? That means the difference between scenario one and two, which is the green portion. So what is the green portion? We can work out easily because we have all the information 38 minus two. All right, so this is the additional number of chocolate bars Mr. Wong need to have so that now, instead of four chocolate bars, each student will have seven. See that? So going by the logic, we can continue to solve it easily once you understood this concept. So 36, 36 extra chocolate bars are needed. All right, so what is the increment for each student? Seven minus four, which is three. So each student will now has an additional three chocolate bars. So now we have practically solved the question. So how many students are there in Mr. Wong's class? So I need 36 more chocolate bars and each student has three more. So 36 divided by three give you 12. So 12 students, see that? And then using either scenarios, you can work out the number of chocolate bars that Mr. Wong have. But I would suggest if you use scenario one to work out the answer, use scenario two to check so that you are rid of all the careless mistake. All right, let's use um, scenario one. So four chocolates. So I have 12 students, 12 times four give me 48. Remember, he did not use up all the chocolates, so you will have to add 38. So the answer is 86. Now, just let's use scenario 2 to check our answer. So scenario 2, 7 chocolate bars, 12 students, I will need 84. But we were told that he, um, he would have 2 chocolate bars left. 
So 84 plus 2, which is 86. So that's the answer, 86. That's it. I hope you enjoyed this video instruction here. And any inquiries can email me at uh, mathwithvan at gmail.com. Give me a like if you like it. or on this like if you don't. Or you can even um, subscribe to my channel for more videos. Um, keep a look out for the next one uh, where I talk about two scenarios having shortages. Alright, that's it. See you again. Bye. <laughs>